And the room where the hearing is taking place is actually very small. They open an overflow room for more people to watch the hearing. And Julia Fellow joins us live from there. And as the appeal, appeal hearing is underway, many people have come in. Not every seat has been filled in the overflow room. Security is tight here. Those in the lobby can watch the hearing on two TVs. People have been quiet listening intently when former officer Christopher Manny first came on screen for the first time. Many people took their phones out to take pictures of the TV. I spoke to Mike Wilder with the African-American Civic Engagement Roundtable, who has been part of many demonstrations in support of Dontre Hamilton's family. He says people who are here do not plan to disrupt these proceedings. It's been a big moment for the Hamilton family for nine months now, uh, actually almost a year. You know, so it, it's nothing different for this family that has endured so much. This community is highly emotional. Um, this is a very sensitive topic. Someone lost their life um, last April and we need to respect the wishes of the family um, and be orderly. Based on those here in the overflow room, we, we can see there is an overwhelming support for Don Trey Hamilton's family. We will be here throughout tonight. Reporting live, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. All right, Julia, thanks. People who could not get inside for the hearing have gathered outside the building, and that's where we find Lacey Crisp. Lacey? Well, there's quite a bit of security surrounding the police administration building, if you look behind me, but there are no protesters. But earlier today, police set up fences and barricades for crowd control just in case. It's been nearly a year for Nate Hamilton and his family to get the answers they're looking for as the appeal hearing for Christopher Manny, the officer who shot and killed Dontre Hamilton, gets underway. Nate Hamilton says his family will continue fighting to make sure Manny never gets his job back, but adds it won't change what happened. No matter what we say to him or do to him, it's not going to change what he done to Dontre. Milwaukee Police Chief Ed Flynn fired Manny for not following department rules and protocol and stands behind his decision. I made a difficult decision that I believe is based entirely on the facts and our values. Officers must have courage, but they also must have competence. Competence was the key issue here. A lack of it was why I terminated the officer and the subject of the hearing over the next three days will be that issue and I'll be expected to testify. Dozens stood in line waiting for their chance to sit and watch the hearing. A policeman committed a crime and he wasn't prosecuted. And people who are in power should be prosecuted. There should be no exemptions to this type of prosec uh, to a prosecution when you commit a crime. And the hearing could last through Monday. Reporting live from the Police Administration Building, Lacey Crisp, today's TMJ4. All right, Lacey, thanks.